What we'd like to have on this web page is a link here to download a PDF version of this lesson that we've already made. To do this we'll need to go to the back end of the website and go to our content manager. Uh, I've got quite a lot of lessons in here so I'm going to filter for the phrase PDF which will find the lesson I need, which is this one. So we'll open that article. The first thing I want to do here is to add the text that I want to be the link to the PDF. I want this to say download PDF version of lesson. I'm then going to highlight all that text to make the whole phrase the link. Now if you look in the icons you can see this piece of chain and if you hover over any of these icons a tooltip will remind you what they're first for. So this is the uh, insert edit link button so we're going to click on that. Now what we want is the URL to that PDF. Well as yet we haven't uploaded that PDF to the website so we need to go to the browse button at the end here and that takes us to the file browser first thing I'm going to do is to make a new folder so I can keep all my lesson PDFs together. Okay, now we've got that folder. I'm going to open that. And then I want to upload with this button here my PDF. Okay, I've got my PDF here on the desktop. That's the PDF there. Okay, then click upload. And that PDF is now into the back end media manager of the website. So that's the correct PDF we want. We insert and you can see it's now added that URL in that folder structure we've made. And this is the text for the link, that download PDF version of lessons. That's all fine. One thing I want to change here, but you don't have to, is to um, change what happens when people click on that link. And I want it to open in a new window. And we'll click Insert. And you can see by the uh, change of colour there in the line underneath that that piece of text is now a link. So we're going to click Save. Go back to the front end of our website just to check it's all working fine. So if we refresh. There we go, download PDF version. We're going to click that, new window opens, and there is our PDF. So that's all working fine. So we can go back to the website, save and close, and that's our job done.